Hello friends, welcome to Electronic Circuit Hub. So today we are going to understand about the filter design, active filter design. Uh, so this is the filter design tool made by the Texas Instrument. If you go at the website of the Texas Instrument and you can find the design and simulation tool and under the design and simulation tool you have to choose the filter design tool and this is the filter design tool so we are going to design the filter by using filter design tool of texas instrument right so you can see here here uh, there are five type of filters given that is low pass filter high pass filter band pass filter band stop filter and uh, all pass filter okay so today we are going to learn about the low pass filter okay so before i start designing the low pass filter by using filter design tool of texas instrument i would like to say you that this video is made for the educational purpose so now let us understand a bit about low pass filter so you can see here they have given one magnitude plot here so in the magnitude plot from this since this is low pass filter it passes the frequency starting from 0 hertz to its corner frequency right so let's say your corner frequency is here so they have defined from 0 hertz to that corner frequency they have they have defined it as pass band and then they have defined it here from here to here the stop band and this is the stop band attenuation okay so you can see uh, the frequency starting from 0 to corner frequency and we have pass band and then we have a stop band that means your frequency is passing from 0 hertz to that corner frequency and this is minus 3 dB point at this point your your magnitude of low pass filter is start attenuating okay so let us click on low pass so just click it here you can see now uh, there is a window you can find so here you have to write your specification like what is your pass band so in the pass band i have zero gain and my the frequency corner frequency is 1000 hertz that means 1 kilohertz and here the the ripple in db is i have selected one let us go for the stop band and in the stop band i would like to have the order of filter is one so for this case the order of filter is one right so this selection you have to do now you can see here uh, you need to select the uh, the order of filter you have selected in stop band that is reflecting here in the first order now I go and select this and you can see your filter is designed here this is basically active low pass filter right and that is used uh, the, the topology for this filter is uh, uh, solid key topology which means it is using unity gain unity gain feedback right so that means uh, this uh, non-inverting terminal is shorted to the output of an operational amplifier right so this is basically a solid key feedback if you want to use multiple feedback you can use from the here but for this case i will use solid key now you can see this is the first order filter first order low pass filter topology and non-inverting gain is uh, that is unity gain and uses two passive component only the this filter is uses r1 and c1 this is two passive filter and one active element that is operational amplifier right so this is the circuit diagram which you can see here now you have to go the magnitude plot and if you want to see the plot between magnitude and the frequency so basically this is the plot between magnitude here in the x-axis you can find 
the magnitude plot and here in the y axis you can find the frequency that means this is magnitude plot the plot between magnitude and the frequency frequency is given in the hertz and the magnitude is given in the gb you can also download save or annotate your design in your local folder right so this is option given here so now let us see the the pass band in the magnitude plot so you can see here this is your corner frequency that we have selected during the design and that is one kilohertz so at this point at this point you can see from zero hertz to at this point frequency starting from zero hertz to at this point one kilohertz this area is your pass band this is called pass band and at this point of magnitude plot where your frequency is crossing to 1 kilohertz you can see there is a minus 3 db you can see here uh, once i put the cursor you can see this is minus 3 db attenuation point that means your magnitude plot is start attenuating after 1 kilohertz and you can see this is continuously start attenuating right so let us see the phase plot so go at the phase plot and you can see uh, the phase plot is given between the frequency and the phase response in the degree so you can see the frequency starting from 0 hertz to like 9 kilohertz and here you can see your phase is 0 to minus 100 degree right so let us talk about the point uh, 1 kilohertz point so if i place cursor here this is one kilohertz per point and at this point you can see your phase is 45 degree okay that means your system is fully stable okay so this is basically a solen key which uses which uses low pass filter first order a uh, first order filter okay it is having active two passive element and one active component now if you want to further design your filter you can go again here you can choose your low pass filter you can like place the order of the filter that means if you are using the second order filter you may use the second order filter and once you say choose the second order filter you have option here to choose which type of filter you want to design for this case i would like to design not bristle i would like to design the butterworth filter so i would select here and once you select here you can see this is using the solemn key topology topology and and you can see here this is the circuit diagram and it is using second order low pass filter topology non-inverting gain unity gain and uses four component passive component since this is second order filter so this is using four passive component that means the combination of two rc network right and this is operational amplifier right so this is the circuit diagram and uh, this is the magnitude plot i already explained there and this is the phase plot so so by using the filter here you can use you can use any order filter like order two order three and you can use any type of you can design a tough type of filter like basils butterworth chisiv and linear phase 0.5 linear phase 0.05 transitional gaussian to 6 db okay so hope you understand the basics of uh, low pass filter design right by using filter design tool of texas instrument if you have any question feel free to ask me in comment section thanks for watching this video